Jesus, our brother, kind and good, was humbly born in a stable brood, and the friendly beast around him stood. Jesus, our brother, kind and good. I said the donkey shaggy and brown. I carried his mother up hill and down. I carried her safely to Bethlehem town. I said the donkey shaggy and brown. I said the cow all white and red. I gave him my manger for a bed. I gave him my hay to pillow his head. I said the cow all white and red. I said the sheep with the curly horn. I gave him my wool for a blanket worn. He wore my coat that first Christmas morn. I said the sheep with the curly horn. Thus every beast by some good spell in the stable dark was glad to tell of the gift he gave to the man you well. The gift he gave the man you well. Sheep in the stable goes ba 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 ba. The sheep in the stable goes ba 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 all night long. The cow in the stable goes moo 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 moo. The cow in the stable goes moo moo moo. All night long, the cat in the stable goes meow, 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 meow. The cow in the stable goes meow, 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 all night long. The donkey in the stable goes haw, hee haw, haw, hee haw. Oh the cow in the stable goes on all night long. I have traveled many moonless nights, cold and weary, with a babe inside, and I wonder what I've done. Holy Father, you have come and chosen me now to carry your son. I am waiting in a silent prayer. I am frightened by the Lord I bear in a world as cold as stone. Must I walk this path all alone? Be with me now. Be with me now. Grab 
Earth of heaven, hold me together, be forever near me, breath of heaven. Breath of heaven, light in my darkness, pour over me your holiness, for you are holy. Breath of heaven. Do you wonder as you watch my face if a wiser one should have had my place? But I offer all I am for the mercy of your plan help me be strong help me be help me breath of heaven hold me together forever near me, breath of heaven, breath of heaven, light in my darkness, pour over me your holiness, for you are holy. Breath of heaven, hold me together, be forever near me, breath of heaven. Breath of heaven, light in my darkness, pour over me your holiness, for you are holy. Breath of heaven, breath of heaven, breath of heaven. Thank you, Joseph, for talking to the innkeeper and getting this place in the stable for us. At least we are not out in the street, and it's a private place to rest and comfort our new son. Did you see the innkeeper's face when I told him that you were going to have a baby very soon? He said that he would have given you his room if he could, but he had already rented that to other people. Our Heavenly Father continues to guide and take care of us. I will never forget when the angel came to me to say that God had chosen me to be the mother of God's son. I thought that would be impossible, even when the angel told me that Elizabeth, in her old age, was also going to have a son. I thought that I must be dreaming. But it all happened just like the angel said. You don't need to remind me. Remember, I saw an angel too. I didn't know what to do. We were pledged to be married. I look forward to the day that we would be married. But then you were going to have a baby. Nothing like that had ever happened before and will never happen again. I just couldn't understand. So the angel came and told me, don't be afraid. But I was afraid. But God showed me that this was the way. Thank you, Joseph, for loving me and taking care of me. I know that this is only the beginning 
We must just continue to trust God for our future with this beautiful baby that God has given to us. And God even used the senses to fulfill his plan. We have learned in the scripture that the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. And now here we are in Bethlehem with Jesus the Messiah. We must continue to do the will of God, our Heavenly Father. Look, I think I found it. This must be the place that the angels told us about. The angels said, don't be afraid, but I was terrified. Can you believe that we saw angels and they spoke to us? I cannot believe they told us. Shepherds? No one cares about shepherds. But the angels told us about the Savior. And we got here as fast as we could. What a night. You're right, and they said that we would find the baby in manger, and here he is. I don't care about anything else. We are here, and the baby is here. Let's just enjoy this moment. I mean, the moment. Excuse me, who are you? We are shepherds from the hills outside of town. You won't believe what happened to us. Angels came to us. They told us about the baby, and we got here as quick as we could. When we leave you, we will go and tell this good news. Go tell on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain, that Jesus Christ is born. We shepherds were out watching our sheep one special night. When all throughout the heavens we saw a glorious sight, a band of angels singing, announcing Jesus' birth. Glory in the highest, good will and peace on earth. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. sent by God to the shepherd's field outside of Bethany. God has been trying to tell the people for generations that he had a plan. He wanted everyone to be watching and waiting for Emmanuel, God with us. The field was filled with light and an angel spoke. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause joy for all the people. Today in the city of David, a Savior has been born. He is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in cloths in a manger. Then all of a sudden, a whole, a whole lot of... Us angels stood up. We are praising God. We say, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those whom God's favor rests. Glory, 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 in Excelsis Deo. Glory, 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 In Excelsis Deo. Did you hear that? I didn't know it could sound that good. I think we sh scaled the shepherds. They'll get over it. I think, uh, just think of the story that I have to tell their grandchildren. And now they ran off to find the baby. I wonder what will happen next. Earth is a dangerous place. Heavenly Father would not send Jesus unless he had a plan. This is all part of God's amazing 
plan of salvation for his people. Get out of my way. If this food doesn't get here soon, I'm going to be in big trouble. Well, excuse me. Never let it be said that I got in the way of some rich business person. Stop bickering, friends. We're all busy. I would like to make a few shekels this week, too. I've never seen so many people in Bethlehem. The Roman soldiers have not been very polite. They push the crowds back and make everyone stand in line for hours. Just to register our names in some silly head count that old Caesar Augustus demanded. And why do we all have to go to our family towns? Who cares how many of us there are? By the time they count us in the census, another baby will be born. I know of a baby born down the street just a little while ago. His father and mother couldn't find a place to stay, so the baby was born in a stable. And I heard they are using a manger as a cradle. Can you believe that? What a shame. Hey, innkeeper, is that your stable where the baby was born? What could I do? My inn is so full. I had already given up my own room. Heaven knows I don't have time to sleep anyway. I told them I had no room. But Mary was going to have her baby in the street if she didn't find a place to stay. They were thankful that I offered them a place to stay in the stable. We put in clean straw. I did the best I could. I have a sweet old cow, but I bet she's wondering, why is there a baby in her food trough? Excuse me, but I must keep moving. So many people to take care of. This is no place for a baby to be born. Too many people, too much dust, too little food. I'm getting tired of waiting for God to free us from these people in our land. We're supposed to be God's chosen people. Didn't he promise to send us a Messiah who would save us? You never know. God has his ways. Why? That baby born down the street could be the Messiah that God promised. Hmm. Do you really think so? Maybe we should take a look at that baby in the manger. You know, it could happen. Who knows? Maybe God did send the baby. Maybe the Messiah is here in Bethlehem. Nah. nah. We three kings of Orient are, bearing gifts we travels afar, field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. O star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, Westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Glorious now, behold him arise, King and God and sacrifice. Alleluia, alleluia, earth to the heavens replies. O star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. We have followed the star from a faraway place in the east. It's been a long, hard journey, filled with many dangers. We have come in search of a king. We realize that this is a special star. God guided us with that very bright star. Even though we study the stars, we never saw a star like that before. So bright and beautiful. We stopped in Jerusalem. King Herod called together his chief priests and scribes and demanded where the scriptures said the Christ would be born. They told him, in Bethlehem. 
We bring gifts for this baby king. I bring gold. Spend it wisely. It will help you to escape from the evil that is chasing this child. I bring a fragrant gift of frankincense. It is usually given to a priest. This baby, Jesus, will become our high priest. I bring a gift of myrrh. It's a strange gift to give a child. Myrrh is usually given to someone who is going to die. This king will give his very life to be the savior of the world. Let us worship this baby, God's greatest gift to all of us. We also bring a warning. On our way, when we stopped in with King Herod, he was interested in the child, too interested. We are afraid that he wants to harm the child. You should go and find another place to live, and we will return to our homes by a different route. picture we have of Jesus as a baby is our own children when they were babies. It is so amazing that God sent his only son to earth as a newborn baby. I always appreciated the kindness of other mothers. I wonder if young Mary had any support from mothers in Bethlehem. Just thinking of Mary all alone in that small town gives me a shiver. But God trusted a young inexperienced couple to care for his son. Can you imagine how Joseph felt? It was Joseph's responsibility to take care of Mary and God's baby. I imagine that he was eager to begin his family with Mary, the love of his life. Little did Joseph know how complicated family life was going to become in the light of God's request. I wonder how the shepherds felt. Imagine seeing angels and leaving the sheep to hurry into town. They say that back then no one liked shepherds very much. But God loved them enough to announce to them first about that special baby. And then they spread the news that Jesus was born. I am so thankful that my child has heard the stories of Jesus every year at our church. Our pastors and teachers keep telling us Jesus' story so our children can go up knowing about God's great love for us and how God sent Jesus to be our Savior. In Galatians it says, When the time arrived that was set by God the Father, God sent his Son, born of a woman, born under the conditions of the law, to redeem those under the law, that we might be adopted as God's children. Yes, God sent his Son. In John 3.16 it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That great promise is for all of us. God's promises have lasted from before Bethlehem, to Bethlehem, and after Bethlehem until today, and on and on forever. 
we can count on God's promises to live in our hearts forever. <laughs>